Well, picture this. You walk into your house to find that your house plants are all sad-faced and wilted, and they look like they need a plant funeral. No, this is not an ad for a funeral insurance, uh, insurance plan, but this has definitely happened to many of us after a long and lacquer holiday. Even here in studio, and here to give us some, uh, you know, some guidance and some guidance much needed on post-holiday plant care is our resident indoor plant expert as Plantify's head gardener. His name is Andreas Keller, and I'm so happy to see you right at the start of the new year, especially looking at all of the plants in studio here. Andreas, welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, you've brought along with you plants that look so hugely healthy, but you know, many of us have found us in this situation, ourselves in this situation, back home, looking on our plants. What should you be looking out for? So if you're looking at your plants right after being away for a long time, what do you need to be examining and looking at? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's three things that you should be looking out for. The first is the foliage, so the leaves for yellow or dry patches, yeah. yellow leaves or dry patches on the leaf, mm -hmm. uh, the roots if they're overgrown, and the third thing is for common house pests. Mm. So all three of those are very, very uh, treatable, and just a quick test will set your plants up for like a really healthy and happy rest of the summer. I like that. It sounds pretty straightforward, but like take us through each one of these three. Should we start with, let's say, for example, yellow leaves? Yeah. Mm. Cool. So yeah. So the leaves. So here's an example of a plant that has a yellow leaf. Yeah. You can see the the normal leaf is nice and green. Yeah. And this is a yellow leaf. Um, so yellow leaves could be an indication of just an old leaf. Okay. It could also be an indication of overwatering. Oh. So if you've gone away on holiday and you've sort of set your plants up, you know, in your bathtub or something, could yes. be that they sat in too much water for too long. Oh, yeah. What you want to do is, you know, just pluck off this leaf. Okay. Um, and then move your plant to a brighter, warmer space mm. and let the soil dry out before you water it again. This is just to rehabilitate the plant. So when exactly. it comes to dry leaves, what do you do then? Okay, so dry leaves, so this is an example of a dry leaf or a, 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 a dry patch on a leaf. Yeah. This is because of underwatering. So, is underwatering, is that how you see underwatering? Well, it's just a patch on like a whole leaf. Exactly. Oh, okay. So it could be the whole leaf, could be a patch on the leaf. Usually underwatering kind of like starts in one area and then spreads to the rest of the, to the like down the leaf. Mm. Uh, it could also be low humidity, but let's stick with underwatering. Yeah. So in this case, what you want to do is just snip off the leaf and soak your plant in, in like a tub of water for like yeah. 15 minutes to make sure that the, the water. exactly like the entire soil hydrates. And there's no dry patches in it. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Okay. So here's another one. This is one of the trickiest ones because people are never really 100% sure what this means when you've got the roots sort of overgrown. Yeah. Should I grab a yeah, plant grab over there? Because that. sometimes, and I've been guilty of this, where I come back and I find a plant with overgrown uh, roots like this, and to me, it's of, often signified like that's a healthy yeah. plant. It's wanting to grow and branch out. Uh, but what exactly does does it mean? Okay, so this this plant naturally does this, but we've just brought this along to like illustrate. give the viewers and yeah illustrate mm. what that's about. So pot plants obviously have roots and soil inside. Yeah. And you've got to have a good like root to soil ratio. Okay. Too many roots mean that the the water just runs through okay. and it doesn't absorb enough, and obviously the water uh, the plant needs uh, water mm. to like take care of itself. Mm. So you can test if the, if the root to soil ratio is out if the water just runs through too quickly. Mm. It means that there's not enough soil to absorb it. Okay, I see. Yeah, so what you want to do in that case is literally like just take, take, the, plant, take the pot out, yeah. take some scissors, maybe run them under some hot water, boiling water to sterilize them, and then just like trim off excess roots, mm. put it back in, and maybe add a bit of soil and you're yeah. good to go. Why is it so important to sterilize the pair of scissors, for example? I never knew that plants cared about that. Yeah, that's just a really good uh, habit to get into when mm. you're caring for your plants, mm. is to sterilize whatever tool you're using. Mm. Uh, you could use some sort of rubbing alcohol, yeah. maybe if you've got some scotch in the cupboard, yeah. or boiling water is great. Yeah. You don't want to, uh, like, expose your plant to potential diseases. Mm, you know, if you're um, using some kitchen scissors or yeah. something, you've been cutting, I don't know. All sorts. Exactly. All sorts. What else, what other tips do you have? Any one other tip that you can give around looking after your plants when you've been gone away from them for a while? So when you've been away, you know, we kind of lock our homes up, um, the air isn't moving through it yeah. freely, uh, it's summer, so it's warmer. Mm. So lack of air movement and warm temperatures, this is like ideal conditions for mm. uh, common house pests like mealybug mm. and aphids. Um, and in that case, you know, this is like a really, really treatable. Many people stress out about it, mm. but uh, what you want to do is you kind of just want to take your plant and have a look at the stems. Mm. Okay, so like 
check on the stems, yeah. check underneath the leaf, uh -huh. uh, and also usually where the like where the new leaf comes out. Yeah. So pests generally like like the soft flesh they of the hide leaf. There. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So just have a look for it. If there's any sort of insect life, what you want to do is use a good organic pesticide, mm -hmm. just spray it on, let the, let these uh, critters die, yeah. and then just kind of wipe them off with a tissue. Fantastic. Yeah. Sounds straightforward enough. But of course, we've covered quite a bit today. For someone who wants to make sure they can learn more about this and a whole lot more plant care tips, where can they go? Okay, so you can just jump onto our website, mm -hmm. plantify.ca today. Yeah. Uh, we've written and click on blog. You'll mm -hmm. find a blog post on uh, the five top post holiday plant care tips. Yeah. So there's actually two more tips that we didn't cover today. That Tell us, what there. are they? Give me one. Okay, so the other one is, um, oh, just hit a blank now. Oh, <laughs> oh that's fine. That's even more reason I'll have to, read to up go on, yeah. on plantify.co.za because it is packed with just these tips and a whole lot more. Andreas and the team, they work really so, so hard to compile that. They look at every single thing you will need about any type of plant, which is fantastic. But we've also got great news because we're giving away a hamper of organic fertilizer and a copper style mister, which is this, to give your plants the deluxe treatment that they deserve if you want to win this fantastic prize. Go on Plantify's website, which is plantify.co.za. today. Read the blog post, and there's amazing content on there, and five post-holiday plant care tips, which are all on there for you. Then comment on our Expresso Facebook page and tell us which tip you found the most useful. Andreas has already given us a whole lot of them today, but terms and conditions do apply, and you can find them on expressoshow.com. Andreas, thank you so much for that. Ooh. Put it here one more time. <laughs> we'll see you after this.